In the present video, shared in the series on ray optics, we will be studying about the compound microscope, a widely used optical instrument. Here we will talk about the construction, the image formation that is ray diagram and expression for angular magnification of the compound microscope. In order to draw the image or ray diagram with compound microscope, you know, construction as we will see in detail later, there are two lenses. This is a shorter, smaller lens and the object is placed between f and 2f. Here we get the magnified image on the other side by usual rays which you already know about the convex lens. This A1, B1 is to be considered as object for the second lens placed between optical center and focus. We get a magnified image on the same side of the eyepiece, that is left side. Details of working and the diagram we will see later. So far as the construction is concerned, a compound microscope consists of following two convex lenses. Objective O, a convex lens or a converging lens of short focal length FO. It is nearer to the object. The object is placed close to the objective. The other lens that is eyepiece is also a convex lens or converging lens. Its focal length is denoted by Fe and it is slightly larger than that of the objective. In fact, both the objective and the eyepiece should have short focal length because shorter focal length favors larger magnification. Now let's see how does it work. The object AB to be observed is placed between FO and 2FO of the objective but closer to F. You can see here you have the objective. This is FO, 2FO. AB is between FO and 2FO but closer to the focus of the objective. The objective produces its real and magnified image A1, B1 on the other side beyond 2FO means twice the focal length of the objective. The position of eyepiece is so adjusted that the image A1, B1 which acts as object for the eyepiece is between the optical center E and the principal focus Fe. The eyepiece in this case will act as a simple microscope or a magnifying lens and it will produce a virtual and further magnified image A2B2 on the same side. For clear vision, we take this image at the distance of distinct vision. Here capital D is distance of distinct vision which you know is about 25 centimeter for a normal eye. Now if you want to study the relative size of the image, final image formed by the microscope and the object AB, then the two are to be placed at same distance. So what we do is we shift AB to distance capital D, distance of distinct region to compare the angular size. The angular size of image is beta and the angular size of object is alpha. Now the magnifying power or angular magnification denoted by capital M. The angular magnification of a compound microscope is the ratio of the angle beta subtended by the final image on the eye to the angle alpha subtended by 
the object on the eye when both the image and the object they are placed at the distance of distinct vision so when as already stated we shift a b to this position as a 3 b 2 in order to compare the angular size beta and alpha for the purpose of uh, expression for magnification we take m here you have the definition repeated for you angle subtended by final image on the eye to the angle subtended by object again at d on the eye the angles we know are beta and alpha so m is beta or alpha and since the object is small we are using compound microscope to see very minute objects so the angles beta and alpha can be replaced by the trigonometric tangents so m is beta or alpha or nearly equal to tangent beta over tangent alpha from the diagram tangent beta is a2 b2 over b2e or b2e is capital d the distance of distinct vision you can write tangent beta as a2 b2 over d and tangent alpha as a3 b2 a3 b2 over d d will cancel out so this is the ratio which you get or replacing a3 b2 by a b you get this result if we multiply this right hand side by a1 b1 and divide by a1 b1 you can rewrite the expression or rearranging you can get a2 b2 over a1 b1 into a1 b1 over a b now this expression needs to be carefully analyzed if you see a1 b1 over a b this is a1 b1 image formed by objective over a b the object for the objective this ratio image size over object size is magnification produced by objective so a1 b1 over a b is magnification produced by objective and this first expression is magnification produced by eyepiece because this is image formed by eyepiece and this is object for the eyepiece image size over object size this is magnification produced by the eyepiece so overall magnification is me the magnification produced by eyepiece multiplied by magnification produced by the objective now mo by definition is vo by uo the image distance over object distance which is nearly equal to l over fo you see this is to be seen carefully uo the object distance for objective is taken as fo the focal length of objective recall we placed the object between f and 2f but close to f so this distance which is object distance is nearly equal to focal length of the object you can write it as fo and vo the image distance this is vo it is equal to length of the microscope tube the length of the microscope tube is distance between objective and eyepiece we are ignoring this small distance because this is less than short focal length of the eyepiece you get l over fo now eyepiece is acting as a simple microscope we already have an expression for its magnifying power which is 1 plus d over fe so substituting these values you get m is equal to l over fo multiplied by 1 plus d over fe you can see in this expression both fo and fe occur in denominators so if the focal lengths are short or small the magnification achieved will be larger hence 
in the construction we emphasize that objective and the eyepiece should have short focal length this diagram or construction of compound microscope just outlines the principle of magnification in actual practice objective is a combination of lenses similarly eyepiece is also a combination of lenses using suitable combinations we get magnification of over 1000 from a compound microscope now it's possible to get image at infinity with a compound microscope because the eye remains relaxed in such a situation the diagram relevant diagram is here you difference is here a b is the object a1 b1 is the image and a1 b1 is made to lie on focus of the eyepiece this acts as object for the eyepiece and it is on the focus of eyepiece and hence we get largely magnified image with angular size beta with this uh, eyepiece the definition for magnifying power remains the same the derivation is almost similar which is very easy to understand it, there is a slight change in the formula you have l over f o into d over f e thanks for watching the video should you have any feedback feel free to write to this address ikg54 at yahoo.co.in if you want to see videos on more topics visit www.physicsbackers.com for videos for notes previous year questions cbsc papers practice papers and much more thanks a lot